Welcome back to part 3 of the how to get superstars. As you remember, I have um, a few stars lined up ready to join my club 1st of July. A few days before, or the day before, I just did draw all my offers. That's because I gave them 5 million in sign on fee just to join my club and I don't want to pay that much money so I will withdraw my bids and now the club that owns the player won't give them a new contract because it's expiring so I'll continue until the 1st of July Because the 1st of July is when the transfer window opens. Okay, there's a bit of fun parts. I have to join that. So, he really doesn't want to join my club. I'll try 3 million. That's one of the disadvantages. I should have rejected, withdrawn the bid today. Then I could bid uh, the 1st of July. So that was a mistake from my side. Okay, so now everyone, I don't know, almost just one more there. So that's a mistake. So my goal is to sign players without spending too much sign up fees and without having to give them a new contract all the time. Remember from part 2 they have to you had to give them a lot of new contracts. First 5 million in sign on fee to join the club, then maybe 3 million in, on getting them to sign a new contract, then another maybe 1 or 2 million on, in sign on fees just to make them not unhappy anymore. But now if they will join my club now they will not need a new contract after. So here you see so Massive sign on fee here as well. It's not 5 million though. We will see if this is good enough to sign them. You can see none of them are interested in joining my club. But we will trick them. So I'll just see how much they demands in sign on fee and I'll pump it a little bit up unless it's massive like this one but I know all of these players I can sell for around 15 million or more so I'm not that worried about giving them 3 to 5 million but but this way clubs won't try to sign the players if they join me but I could give them 5 million as I did before and then I would be 100% sure that they will join my club like Van der Vater I will give him give him 5 million because he's one of my favorites in this game so I give him 5 million make sure he comes to my club And if you are more patient and don't bid yet, the, play, the clubs often, after a few weeks, release these players on free transfer. So like Santa Cruz, maybe in the 10th to 20th of July, you will get released on free transfer. If you don't make a bid. So you see now, all the players are coming for less sign-on fee than... We had before, Patrick Vieira, we didn't get, if I give him 5 million, probably. So now we are almost the same as, as before. So Santa Cruz will get a new contract. But I don't have to give him the third contract like, like, like I had on the other way in part 2. 
No. Sometimes players aren't interested in getting a new contract straight away. Then you just wait one week or so and you give them a new contract. No, no clubs would bid for my players now. When I did it this way, I have never experienced a club bidding for my players. But if you get them in without without uh, withdrawing first, they will bid like you saw in part two when we lost uh, Patrick Vieira and Van der Vaart or something. But here, now my players won't get touched. I will get a decent amount of time to give them a new contract. Uh, I've been uh, experienced that players have stayed in my club for one or two months with only on month to month contract before signing. So, on the part, yeah. okay. so you just a little bit patient. Remember um, my other save expenditure was 50 million on signing on fees. Now I have the half, half, almost the same, the same players, in 24 instead of 50. So, so Tomasi signed a new deal and he is, isn't unhappy. He's ready to play on for my club, and that's the way it goes. And this you can do with any club. Now I'm in the and the German first division. I did the same thing in when I started in the regional division. The first season I got promoted, but in January I signed Ray Parla. Yeah, we can see. I, I don't. There's in here. We'll see. Uh, maybe they will come here. Let's see. Yeah. There is John Pablo Sorin assigned. Uh, I think as, there was a few more, but uh, there, you see some names here. But the second season, when I was in the second division, assigned. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you see in July, Del Vecchio signed, sold him. Lovelier, Pinci, Lopez, Robinson, a lot of players in here. Yeah, all of those signed in July here, you can see. Boscon has Mike Duff, for instance, he didn't want to join my club. Just gave him 5 million quid, signing on fee, home from home. There's Ray Paula. You see, a lot of players. So that's it for part 3. Hope you learned something.